Hey everybody, Robert Kennedy the Third here, RK3, that's me. I'm a speaker, trainer, author, president of RK3 International and Speak Right Now Communications. Now, in my business, one of the things that I've got to do is create content. And every time I create content, I've got to have branding and collateral associated with that. That can be posters, that can be little images that have to go on Instagram or on a header for a website or in, in, in an email. And so that has to be created. Sometimes I send that out to, to designers and then sometimes I do a little bit of that myself. Now one of the tools I use to do that is Canva because it's easy to do. They're templates and I don't have to do things from scratch inside of Canva. Now I've done some things in Photoshop previously and there are some things and tools inside of Photoshop that make life a little bit easier that don't exist inside of Canva. For example, there's something called the eyedropper tool. And what that does is it takes colors from specific areas and then converts that to codes that I can then copy and use again and again and again. Now, for example, I'm, I'm building, I'm launching a podcast shortly and I had to create a header for a, a website for that podcast. So I'm going to click on the header here and show you what happens. Okay, let me get rid of this layer, this panel on the side. Now here's what happens. Uh, I've got the podcast cover there cropped a bit to the side and on the right I want to write some things or add some additional information but I don't want it to be white because it's a little bit different than the slightly gray background that I've got here. So I want to add color to the right. I go up to the top left and I click here. I've got brand colors here. I can use that blue if I want, but that's a little bit different than what's on the suit and in the lettering. And I want something that is similar enough to it. So if I go back over to the top left, I click the plus sign. And what I've got here is called the color picker. So I can move this around to try to eyeball the color if I want. And that's cool, but I would have to do that every single time. So I was looking for a, an eyedropper tool in here, but I didn't find one. So here's what I did, and here's how I solved that problem. I went to search engine and typed in eyedropper Chrome. And because I use Google Chrome, this is what I'm doing. I'm putting an extension or I'm looking for an extension that allows me to do this eyedropper behavior. Okay, so I come into Chrome or to Google and I, the first thing that I see is eyedropper Google Chrome. I click on that. The Chrome Web Store opens up with the extensions and I see the eyedropper and I click on add to Chrome. Dialog comes down, I click on Add Extension. And it is now installing the extension into my Chrome browser. Okay, so you see that this extension is added here and a page pops up which gives some information and instructions for how to use this. I'm gonna close that to my Canva page. Now here's what I want to do. For the sake of argument, I'm just going to make this white again so you can see how this works. I want to use the color of the suit or actually the color of the letter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top right where this extension has been installed, eyedropper. I'm going to click that and you'll see that a little dialog pops up and I'm going to choose pick color from web page. Now when I do that, you'll see that down in the bottom right, a little menu or dialog pops up. So beside my mouse, you'll also see a little square. And I'm gonna go over to, and as I'm moving over the color of the suit or the color of the letters, you'll see that the little square is changing. Okay, so my little square now has a color. 362B67 is the hex code for it. I'm gonna click that. And then when I go back to the dropper here, I'll see that the color has been saved there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy Control C or Command C because I'm on a Mac. And then I'm gonna go back over to my Canva color picker. 
and click that plus sign again. Down at the bottom, I can now click Control V and paste that color. So now that color is there. I can use that. I can add it to my my colors here, my brand colors, but, but I don't have to keep fighting to find that color and and guessing or eyeballing what it is. Okay? So just wanted to share that with you, little hack that I found as I was doing some work here. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Although this was a tutorial, I won't do these all the time. I typically focus on leadership, communication, public speaking, business. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel to hear other tips about those topics. Visit me on robertkennedy3.com. Actually, just check the description and you'll see some of the places where I am. I'll see you soon.